and welcome to Dr. Me First. This is my summer solo cast series. Say that like seven times fast. <laughs> I am going to be doing some quick solo casts, get you in and out in less than 10 minutes, but totally juiced up and infused with encouragement and inspiration so that you can go about your summer loving your life and making things better. If you don't know who I am, I'm going to tell you. I'm Dr. Freaking Erin Wiseman. I'm a family medicine physician, life coach, mother of dragons, and all-around badass who is here to call bullshit on burnout and to help you live your best life and do your best work in the world. You really can have both. And so I want to encourage you to do that. Before we get into today's topic, I got to pay some bills. Let me tell you about our sponsor. Have you ever considered a different way of practicing medicine? Whether you're burnt out, need a change of pace, or looking to supplement your income, Locum Tenants might be a solution for you. Not sure where to start? LocumStory.com is the place where you can get real unbiased answers for your questions. They answer basic questions like, what is Locum Tenants? To more complex questions about pay ranges, taxes, various specialties, and how Locum Tenants can work for you. Go to LocumStory.com or DoctorsPodcastNetwork.com backslash LocumStory and get all your answers. All right. Today, we're going to talk about what I call the are you my mother mindset. I don't know if you read the book when you were a little kid, but I definitely had it read to me about a little bird who falls out of a tree and then he's walking and flying around and he finds like a big dump truck and he asks that, are you my mother? And he finds some other things and he asks, are you my mother? And conclusion, spoiler alert, he eventually does find his mother but that he keeps trying to rationalize and see like, oh, we're the same color, so you must be my mother, or you make a lot of noise, so or you fly, so you must be my mother. And I see this a lot in the personal development space with people who bounce around a whole bunch trying to like find their guru who is going to quote unquote fix them and be their mother. Now, there's nothing wrong with seeking and searching and learning new tools and new techniques and new points of views. But when you're coming at it from a place of, are you going to fix me because I'm broken versus how are you going to help me navigate? It's two totally different places. Because I just want to let you know, you are not broken and you are not that far away from the things that you're seeking. Recently, I told this to one of the Burnt Out to Badass participants. If you don't know, so it's a course, and then at the end of each module, um, you've got to write in like a little sentence or something that you learn so that you can get your CME credits. So this is what this person wrote to me. They said, I feel like I'm so far away from the things on my report card. One of the modules, I make you rewrite a report card. But anyway, and so my answer back to them was, remember, the first and most important thing you can do is become aware to see the gap to no longer turn a blind eye, because now that you can see it and name it, you can change it. It's just one step at a time. What's the quote? Something like, the journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. Now we begin. You've got this. So even when things seem so far away and that it's not even close, I want to just remind you, don't keep seeking out somebody else to get your own answers. Just take the next best step. So I got another story for you. Recently, I went hiking with a friend. She is just getting into the outdoors. So she like bought all the new crap, like everything, cutting edge, brand new, ultralight, all the things. And then here's me over with my backpack circa 2007. (laughs) And I mean, I still think I have some of the same clothes, backpacking clothes of when I did that. But the thing is, it doesn't matter if you have all the new shinies or you have like the old tried and true or anything in between, we still had to walk the same trail. And that's what I want to remind you when you're seeking and looking for like the next best thing is that we're still all walking the same life. We're still all walking the same trail. And yeah, some new techniques, some new shiny things can make it easier, but you still have to walk. You still have to take 
the next best step. You still got to keep going and heading in that direction. So it doesn't matter if you have the best gear or the most experienced coach or whatever it is. If you're not walking, then you're not getting anywhere, no matter what you have. So drop the mentality of, are you my mother? Just find the next best step. Jump into the thing that seems like, hmm, this I think will really help me to navigate my path. And just know if it's pushing you forward and making you move, it is. Hey there, the next cohort of the Burnt Out to Badass CME group is starting in June. And let me tell you, this is the fourth time around, and I can honestly say every time is so different and so much fun. I want to encourage you. You've heard me talk about it over and over and over again. I'm going to keep talking about it because it's so powerful. There are modules that talk about everything from facing your fear to networking to imposter syndrome, perfectionism, getting it right versus just getting it done, all the things. Plus, you get to do it in an amazing group setting. So here's your chance. Check out the show notes. This is the time to get in. No more waiting. We are so excited for you to join us. Before we finish up, don't forget to visit locumstories.com or drpodcastnetwork.com backslash locumstories to get real unbiased answers to all your locum tenants questions. So go outside, go on an adventure, have some fun, and remember, your life, your calling, your pulse matters.